Hi Virgo, welcome to your reading for July 2018. Uh, three card reading, Major Arcana reading towards me, uh, possibly with some clarifiers. I will then be pulling one from the swords, one from the wands, one from the pentacles and one from the cups. So one last shuffle, one last cup. Let's go. Magician, ace. Wheel of Fortune, woohoo! Strength in reverse. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Well, it goes on, does it not, Virgo? Now, I remember last month there was this thing about um, sort of one last hurdle having to be jumped. And I guess you have jumped a hurdle here but whether it's the last one or not I don't know because the fact that the outcome card here or things as they really are is strength in the reverse <laughs> oh god Virgo you know having having sort of taken the the you know, opened your perception maybe or your 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 sort of interpretative radar to the fact that some element that is or was around you is um, malevolent and toxic and having to take that on board in order to move forward. Now it would seem um, that having done that, and this, this, is, this is how it works, you know, when you realise that um, someone in your life and it usually is uh, someone in in this matter um, has basically been um, been playing you for their own purposes, for their own ends, and kind of don't really love you. It's a very, very, very difficult thing to face up to. Hugely painful, and that's what I saw for June. But having realised that and taken that on board is incredibly liberating, and that's what I'm getting here from the magician in the upright. You know, he's there with all his paraphernalia, all his tools. This is manifestation. He can manifest now. Uh, very, very sure of his powers of kind of production and powers of, yeah, of manifestation. Very confident. And that confidence does come when you realise that um, someone was uh, basically a bad part of your life. And you're like, no shit. That's why I was never happy when that person was around me. Ha, huh, now I know. And the fetters come off and there's a, there's a freedom involved there. But what comes next, what comes after that, is a kind of creeping realisation. And I, 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 well, not creeping necessarily, but <clears throat> I get the feeling that kind of random things this month are going to leave you feeling, are going to kind of make you feel like, you know, what was it, was it, was it me? Was it something about me? What was it about me? that made me a target for that. That's what I'm getting for, from this reading, in, in, in sort of following on from, from the last one from June. I'm getting that you're going to be questioning yourself. And I mean, frankly, you know, speaking from experience, um, you know, having uh, been in and uh, got out of and learned from um, toxic uh, situations and toxic relationships, the only thing really worth learning is not about uh, about them. I mean, it's it's always worth learning sort of how these toxic dynamics work. But the main thing, the real meat of the learning, and I say meat, and I'm looking at that lion, right? Because that's what the lions are after is the meat. The real meat of it is what it was inside us that made us available. You know, what was it about us that saw us making ourselves available for that? And I've got the feeling that you're going to be seeing the things happening this month, random things, little things, um, unplanned little sort of conglomerations of circumstance are going to be flagging this up for you this month. But I tell you what, that is... That's the real healing. The, re the healing is not getting away from this person, whoever they are. You know, that, that, of course, that's the first step. It's like you've got to ring the doctor. That's the first step. Yeah. Um, and realising there's something wrong and, and, and getting away. 
Um, and there we have that, that energy, that movement forward, that manifestation of a new awareness of things. But the real meat of the healing is the, uh, the self-examination. Because, you know, there are lots of toxic people in the world and, you know, toxicity is not sort of either people are or they're not. You know, it's, it's a spectrum. Um, and, you know, in the end, all you can learn about a toxic person is that they're a toxic person. The important thing is that you learn about yourself. And I think actually you're going to be open to this, but it's going to be a little bit, perhaps a little bit of a downer. For you, because you have the elation of having got over that hurdle, which I do. It does seem to me that that you have with this. It's a very, very strong energy. Um, but there's something a little bit kind of because this is the first card. It's not the zero card. It's card number one. This is this is the equivalent of the child realizing that it has uh, some power over its environment, and um, the child then becomes kind of. I wouldn't say rampant, but <laughs> in the, you know, it's like the terrible twos. Yeah, it's like aha, I can make mummy do things if I do this or that. You know, it's it's about the the realization of having power. And um, I mean, funnily enough, I always see the strength card as um, the process of sort of self mastery, the adult in the self um, conditioning and educating the rampant toddler of the self represented here by the by the line but very benevolently there's real benevolence here you know there's no lashing there's no tranquilizer darts or anything like that it's just like no no i'm going to put my hands in your mouth now and you will not bite me but here that process is happening in the reverse so there's some self doubt and i think yeah, I, I think this is going to be a sort of come down month. You know, it's like when when you've worked really, really hard to um, achieve some sort of goal against the odds, I have to say, against the odds, and you achieve the goal, you achieve it just by sheer dint of getting your head down and, and actually dealing with what needs to be dealt with. Out the other side of that, you do have this feeling of great sort of like, ha, 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 I do that, I can do anything. But then there is usually a kind of a come down. And that's, sort of, you know, like up, 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 over the top of the wheel. Oh, right. OK, well, there's there's quite often a period of, of, of slight depression. I'm sorry to say that, Virgo. <laughs> um, but there is quite often a kind of a downer afterwards, a kind of post-achievement, post-escape, um, post-getting to the other side of a difficult barrier kind of, and you just kind of go, oh, um, yeah, that's that's what I'm seeing here. Um, I don't think I'm going to clarify this. Um, actually, no, I'm going to have another uh, a look at what else we can see in the Falcon card here. Right. OK. Yeah. Now, the moon card, we have the moon in the upright here. The moon card is, um, I mean, we have the lobster crawling, crawling up into the picture of served on a platter in a way or sitting on a mirror by the looks of things now the lobster for me because the lobster is so incredibly long-lived and kind of secretive and extraordinarily long-lived um there are a few other sea creatures that that have it and they all they're all the red ones it's all the red ones with the uh with the red shells the um red um sea urchin as well lives for a very long time um but this really is about the kind of the emergence into the sort of watery realms of one's consciousness of stuff that has been buried and hidden perhaps from the self for a long time and perhaps that's why it appears in any case to be on a mirror and it, you know it's never particularly comfortable to do that but it is an absolutely um, necessary, I mean, it is the heart of healing. It's the heart of healing to be able to look oneself in the eye and understand that um, toxic people don't target or they, they don't 
get their toxic bloody claws into just everybody or just anybody. The shape of, of what we are is what enables enables <laughs> toxic people to to do their um, their poisonous shenanigans on us. And that can be very, very difficult to, uh, or pretty bloody difficult to, um, to take on board. Um, so, yeah. But the important thing, the important thing, the important thing is you did get away. You did get away. Right, I'm going to, I'm going to get another one on this, actually, on strength and the reverse. Okay, yay. Oh, God. All right, it's not put the bunting out, the war is over, um, you know, and everyone can go home and, and, and eat cake. All right, that's not, that's not where we're at. You're going to be knackered. You're going to be knackered, but you are out the other side. You're out the other side, but you're tired. Right, I'm going to get one from the swords. Yeah, more self-doubt goes with the moon and sort of thinking, why, why, why me? I mean, you know now that why why they did that was because they're a toxic person, should we say, to be polite, um, or as someone with a high degree of toxicity. But you know, I, I do see some sleepless nights here of you sort of thinking, God, how could how could that happen to me, and how can I protect myself from that happening again in the future? And the way to that is self knowledge, self knowledge, the lobster in the mirror. Yeah, Queen of Wands. Okay, this, 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 it, it is over. This thing is over. Um, what else can I tell you here? There's so much in this card. The first thing my eye is drawn to here is these two gargoyle um, things on the sides of her throne. You are going to be guarded from now on, and you're going to be guarded like like an eye this way and an yeah, an eye this way and an eye that way. You're going to be guarded, and you're going to. It's going to work. Your guarding, your self guarding, is going to be effective, and you are going to be able to keep yourself safe now in a way that you weren't before, to the point where this little creature here, <laughs> the little cat here, is going to take it upon itself to be by you. Your cats come and go. They're absolutely law unto themselves, but but this one is is going to feel because cats stick around people who they feel are calm and like them. You are out of the woods, but you know it's going to take a while to kind of get your mojo back. Oh, fantastic! King of Pentacles, right? You're in. This this is this kind of thing isn't going to happen again like it like it did, Virgo. Yeah, I mean, I always thought this was Ivy, but I was watching another another reader today, and she pointed out, and I really should have looked at it more closely. It's grapes. So, you know, the abundance here of of fruit surrounding this king took a long time to uh, to grow, but. By the same token, um, it's not a plant, it's not a, a, a structure of kind of karmic returns and karmic fruit that is going to disappear quickly either. You know, the, the, this is this is not going to happen again. It's not going to happen again, Virgo. Ha <laughs> ha! No way is it going to happen again. Ten of cups, how beautiful. Right, you are out the other side, but you're knackered. Right, but you can afford now to raise a bit of a glass, okay? <laughs> like the magician is here, you can, but you know, in when you're on your own, when you're on your own, you are going to be questioning, um, and you know, rightly so. But I tell you, this is the worst card on the table, all right? But this is you in the wee small hours going, My god, how did that happen to me? And that's the most important question. Not, oh, why me, why me, self-pity. But really, what was it? What space did I have for those toxic cogs to turn in? That's the question and that's the heart of healing. Okay, Virgo, I'll leave it there. Please tune in for another reading in due course. Have a lovely July. Cheers. Bye-bye.